women are naturally promiscuous. Even the Bible says it. Women are the weaker sex. We are weak. We cannot control ourselves. So leaving her for another woman is pointless because it rings everywhere. You leave her for Susan. Susan is eventually going to cheat on you. You leave Susan for Mary. Mary is eventually going to cheat on you because it is ingrained in our DNA. I thought you had a man though. I do. And I'm single until I'm married. Yeah. Unless you bring in something more than my man can bring me. What you mean by that? Everything is negotiable. So basically he pay all your bills, he do everything. It's all about working smarter, not harder. I mean he sound like a pretty good guy then. <laughs> I know he is. It's a shame. What you mean? <laughs> That's the law. I didn't make the rules. I need to make sure I have a a monthly allowance. Like what? yes, what you thought? <laughs> a monthly allowance. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna discuss that first and foremost, and then we're gonna break down the other uh requirements. What's the other requirements you're talking mm, about? It's what gonna be mean? paying for my tuition. It's gonna be startup costs associated with my business. I gotta do all those things. Yes, absolutely, and more. I just got started. But why you can't pay your own? Why would I when I don't have to? Like I have the power. Like the the cards are in my hands. That's what you really think, huh? That's what I know. That's, That's why my bills are paid. I like the travel. Guy, what you like to do? I love to travel. You do? Yes. So where are we going to buy? I think you can <laughs> travel and get the f out of my car. I tell you men all the time that women are not submissive, monogamous, loyal by choice. It's only done in a society where there's a patriarchal rule and there are consequences and repercussions for a woman not doing those things. But now we live in a society where there are no consequences and repercussions. As a matter of fact, women who don't live by that standard are championed now, a la Brittany Renner, a la Sweetie. So what you men have to understand is that women are not naturally monogamous. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere. The only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. BOA. You're leaving your woman because you found out she cheated on you. Come on, cheating. Look, I need modern men to understand one thing. That cheating is in the DNA of women. Women are naturally promiscuous. Even the Bible says it. Women are the weaker sex. We are weak. We cannot control ourselves. So leaving her for another woman is pointless because it rings everywhere. You leave her for Susan. Susan is eventually going to cheat on you. You leave Susan for Mary. Mary is eventually going to cheat on you because it is ingrained in our DNA. Women, we like variety. We cannot be eating one meal throughout the year. It's not possible. So instead, go into your prayer closet enter into your war room go on your knees and ask god to give you an endurance spirit so that you'll be able to endure it because it's not going to change secondly you need to have a deep introspection with yourself what am i doing that is pushing my woman into another man's arms do i need to work out more get in shape do i need to dress better do i need to pump her hair some more do i need to spoil her more you know take her on more vacations etc etc the third thing you can do is to do your own research and find out who the side man is. Go and approach him as a man and, and see if you can find tips and learn from him on how to please your woman and make her content. But at the end of the day, it all boils down to an understanding that women are naturally polygamous. We are naturally promiscuous. Just deal with it. Don't pay attention to all these men's rights activists trying to teach you your rights and teaching you self-esteem. They are single, bitter, sex-starved. Now, as you hear, this woman is doing a masterful job of explaining to you that having the expectation that if you leave one woman because she cheated on you and get another woman, then you're going to have to leave that woman because she cheated on you. And you're going to have to leave that woman because she cheated on you. You're going to have to leave that woman because she cheated on you. Here's the thing that you men don't understand. The broken home, and as far as we go, black folks, the historical broken home has led to generation after generation where women have not learned the proper context of interacting with a man from a level of respect. 
from a level of authoritative submission. So if she didn't have that with her father or she didn't see her mother have that with her father, she's never going to be able to do that. And more than likely, 85% of the women that you meet in this particular society are going to be that way, are going to have that as a part of their character makeup, as a part of their historical accounting of their life. Yo, my dad wasn't there. My dad was there, but my mother controlled him. They're not fit or equipped to be what you think they ought to be in this particular society. Even when you find one who's willing, she does not have the requisite makeup, the requisite character traits, the requisite spiritual foundation to be that. Now you go to one of these Islamic societies, yes, and I don't mean the ones in you know Saudi Arabia, the ones we see where you know where the women are mistreated. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where women are growing up in that environment, and it's a respected in is a respected and respectable environment where people live that life, where everyone around lives that life, where the older women are teaching the younger women how to be, where the older men are teaching the younger, the younger men how to be, where there are effective fathers and leaders and there are effective mothers and guides for the children until they get to the point where they need to be led by the father. We don't have that in our society. So to have that expectation is just unrealistic. You're not gonna have it. It's the same way we say, okay, you're not gonna find a virgin. You're not. But if you go to other cultures, you can find virgins, man, in their mid-20s, late 20s, even early 30s. These are cultures where women value themselves, where they value the fact that their body is a temple. There's nothing wrong with valuing your body. There's nothing wrong with having your body be your value because here's the thing. When your body stops working, you don't have a life anymore. Think about a paraplegic, man. Think, think about think about somebody that's that's immobile now because of some accident or some debilitating disease. That person doesn't have a life. They just lay there and live. So your body is very important. I think the problem in our society is that women have shied away from wanting to value their body and embrace the importance of that body. But we men, we still value it. It has value. And we live in a society where women have decided that what has value to us doesn't matter anymore. And that's fine because we're not just reduced to dealing with women in this particular society. There's a huge world out there. The United States is only 4% of the world's population. So we're only a sprinkling of the population of the world. And when you separate that into the different nationalities, then your choices are even smaller in the States. But you got a huge world out there. And I'm saying, if you want a particular type of woman, as this woman stated, you're not going to find this woman in the United States or in any other culture that is influenced by the United States. See, this isn't just about Western culture. This is about the influence of Western civilization. So in any African country where there's a huge Western civilization, the women are going to be more like women in America. Any Caribbean country where, you know, that, that's under the influx and influence of Western civilization is going to be more like America. The men and women are going to be more like America. But there are corners of the globe that absolutely shun Westernization of their society. And those men among us who put ourselves in a position to be able to travel the world will have an opportunity to actually have a woman who is raised and geared to not want the consequence and repercussion, even if it's the sole consequence and repercussion. The best woman you could absolutely have is a woman who believes it is a sin to commit adultery, a woman who believes that there will be some punishment in this life and the next if she commits adultery. You're not going to find that in the Christian church. I ain't never met one in church who does that. I met one in church, man, who they say it, but they do it anyway. I'm talking about a woman who truly believes that the best thing she can do in life is be a loyal, honorable, respectful wife to her husband. And I'm just going to be honest with you, man. If you think you're going to find that in America, brother, you are sadly mistaken. You are dead wrong, as a matter of fact, because you are not. I am not. We are not. Even if she's gone through some things where she should be settling down and should have a, a less reprobate mind, then she's still not going to because you look at the influence of social media. Man, women can't even stay away from social media in America. Like they literally can't. I have known women who have tried to quit social media. They can't. They have to have some ties to it. And my thing is this. If you can't leave social media alone, you have absolutely no possibility of being loyal to me, especially if you don't have any business entities involved. If you're just an active person on social media who's just on there for the fun of it, I promise you, 
You are making a mistake, my brother, if you believe that that woman can be loyal to you. She can't. She can't even be loyal to the betterment of her own self. Because if you don't have business on social media, you're not getting any benefit from social media. I can promise you that. Unless you're going there for strictly educational purposes, but that's not even social media. That's the Internet. See, the Internet is separate from social media. Social media is a branch of the Internet, but it's the most harmful one. It is the most detrimental one unless you are on there strictly for business purposes. And that's just the reality of it. When people think about the society we live in in America, everyone wants to do their own thing. And unfortunately for us men who would want to have a wife or want to have wives, we must understand that women don't want to be wives. They want to be partners. They want to be equal partners. They want to have as much power and say so as you do. And they've spent time and effort and energy and resources building careers where they can say, OK, well, financially, if I can match you, then I can match you in all the other ways. Because here's the truth about these women who will view the situation this way. Deep down inside, they can play that, well, I'm the same as you. I can do what you can do all they want to. But they know the only place they can match you is financially. And if you don't value that, all of a sudden her power with you is gone. Gone are the days where we live in a society where there are consequences and repercussions for a woman not being loyal to her husband. As a matter of fact, there are consequences and repercussions for a woman being loyal to her husband. There is more benefit in our society for a woman not being a loyal wife, not being a dedicated wife, not being a dedicated mother, than to offer her to do those things. What kind of wickedness are we existing within when being good, being wholesome, being respectful and respectable being desired by the most valuable men among us is shown. And a woman would rather be a modern day version of Eve. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. Trying to become the most alpha version of you. Trying to become the most alpha version of you. Striving to become the most alpha version of you. Fighting to become version of you welcome to the atmosphere get money division the place where you transform into a man on a mission